Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Cohen and I am the creator of SharePro's proxy program. This is a little application that will allow you to search, locate, extract proxies from all around the internet and basically uh, you can you have the option to use the default information the default URLs uh, or you can alternatively type in your own uh, domain here but nevertheless what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to begin uh, starting uh, this little application and demonstrate how fast it works as you can see here in the background it's currently uh, downloading about 1500 proxies and uh, we'll begin by clicking test and again what it is doing we're starting at six, 1682 proxies and it takes about 15 minutes to test each and every one of these uh, individual proxies so uh, meanwhile uh, while it is working in the background here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate a couple of uh, different things. First thing I'm going to demonstrate is how to use a proxy in a web browser. I'm going to grab this proxy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, as you can see here in the background, I'm using Internet Explorer uh, 7. But nevertheless, if you were to, uh, you just go to Tools and then Internet Options to get this uh, this little menu here and then you go over to connections okay and from connections all you gotta do is uh, take uh, any one of the uh, the proxies that you see here that are being uh, registered and you you just copy and then you bring it over to the uh, to the internet browser uh, to paste the information in. now what you're gonna notice is that you have the IP address of the proxy and then you, it's followed by a colon and then an additional four numbers uh, it could be two numbers in fact as you can see here it's just two numbers uh, with port 80 but it, the, it's uh, the IP address of the proxy with a colon and then followed by a port number the additional numbers after the uh, the, the, the colon is the port number okay as you can see here, uh, we've got the IP address for the proxy. Now where you see the colon, and then you have the last four numbers, you're going to copy the last four numbers, 3128, and you're going to paste it here. So there's just 3128. You're going to get rid of uh, the colon and the port number from here. The only thing that is located here, the 117-240-230-69, uh, is the IP address of the proxy okay no colons and no port numbers the port number goes here on the right hand side 3128 we're gonna do OK and now the uh, we're gonna go to what is my IP and as you can see here 117240230.69 is now being used uh, to access uh, the internet. So if I am going to go to Google, MSN, Yahoo, or any other third-party website, as I just gone to, I just went to whatismyip.com. Uh, this address, what you see here inside of the uh, address menu, whatismyip.com, it will register and tell you exactly what IP address you're using. Now I'm going to go back to Tools and internet options and I'm going to go to connections land settings and I'm going to uh, actually first I'm going to copy this because I'm going to show you how to do this in uh, Firefox as well so I'm going to control C that to copy it but I'm going to get rid of this proxy server and I'm going to do OK again now my uh, my browser is using my regular IP address and I'm going to F5 and you'll notice that the IP address is returned back to my regular IP address. So that basically explains to you how to configure your own local uh, browser, whether you're using Internet Explorer. Now we're going to do 
the, uh, the browser of Firefox. We're going to go to options and uh, inside of advanced you have, let's see, I think it's network and from network we're going to do manual proxy configuration. Control V to give that proxy address and I'm it was port 3128. I'm going to click OK. And again, this is uh, for a uh, HTTP proxy. That's a web browser proxy. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to go to whatismyip.com. And again, you will see that. I'm now using this uh, proxy address, 117.240.230.69. And again, one last time, just to demonstrate. Oops, uh, again, we're going to network, settings, and no proxy. And as I click no proxy, I just F5 to refresh. And you'll see that my IP address has changed. And again, just to demonstrate how many proxies, as you can see, hundreds of proxies are now being uh, being uh, tested and so forth. And it's a really, really neat uh, application. So again, if you're very interested in uh, purchasing the uh, SharePro proxy software, feel free to go to demia.com and uh, purchase the software. I'm now making this video, but uh, when I'm finished, it'll be in this, uh, this uh, proxy section. You will be able to see the software.